styles for different things or occasions. Take one. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. My name's Thomas if you're brand new and I make style and hair related videos every single week. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back and visit me every single Monday. So in this video, I'm gonna be documenting different long hairstyles for different occasions. I had somebody in the Facebook group, if you haven't joined yet, make sure you go and join it, <laughs> shameless plug. I had somebody in the Facebook group ask about this, like different long hairstyles that they could do for different occasions. And I found just by uh, listening to you guys that Things like going for a job interview or going to your formal or even like casual, like deciding which hairstyles are gonna work for longer hair is a little bit tricky because let's face it, the guys with the short hair, they can just go shave and sides, look slick, bit of blue man, and they look, they look good for any occasion, right? But what about us, you know? Like we struggle with big frizziness, we st struggle with the length, we struggle with looking presentable in the corporate sense. Like there's so many like, issues with that and yeah you're right there's a definite need for this type of content so I'm gonna make some oh there's so many I thought I'd break it down into four different segments as well so we've got formal we've got semi-formal we've got business and we've got casual so there's gonna be a lot of hairstyles that I mentioned here some cross over as well some can work with all different ones and then others are just specifically like whoa, you just don't cross that line. So for a formal event, let's like define what a formal event is first. A formal event to me would be something like, you know, a YouTuber event or a red carpet event or maybe even like a, I don't know, a book launch or something like that or your actual formal at school or I think you call it in America, what do they call it? Prom. <laughs> Various uh, dress codes and stuff that go with that. And the ones that I've got, so number one would be something like beach waves. So if we take Johnny Depp, for example, he's a very good classic example of that. He does the whole beach wave look with it pushed back. It looks semi messy, but it's still like, it still looks very professional. Obviously he's got a hairstylist that does it all the time and his hair's sort of a medium length, so he can really pull it off. But I wouldn't even restrict that to longer hair, even like mine. Like if you look at the chapter hairstyling video I did with braids and the styling cream, that look, it was a very clean, crisp, curl controlled look and I think that suits a formal environment. So something like those curls or beach waves would look good or something similar to the Johnny Depp style would be a good option. You've also got things like the neat low man bun. So kind of like what I've got today, but a little bit neater. So if I were to do a, a neat low man bun, I'd probably straighten all of this and then tie it in the exact position it's in now. Or I'd do a neat medium bun, so like up here. Um, around the middle section. I probably wouldn't do a high bun for uh, a formal event because it's very like, pew, it almost like, I don't know, people could have very mixed judgments on it. Um, not, not that they don't have mixed judgments on men buns as it is already, but yeah, I would leave the, the high one alone and I would just go with a medium and a low neat man bun maybe. They would be a lot better because they're neat, they're tidy, and they look formal. Another one on the list that I had for a formal would be something like a slick back. So, I probably wouldn't do a slick back with the length that my hair is at now, but when my hair was more to about here, remember I did that slick back hairstyle with the hybrid cream clay? That length I think would be very appropriate, especially for formal, slicking it back. Or if you've got a disconnected undercut as well, ages ago, like we're talking three years, I did a slick back with my disconnected undercut and I, I really liked how it looked at the time and I think that also fits into the formal category. So remember, we're just looking for like clean, no, not messy. You just want to avoid messy at all costs, essentially. The last one I had on this list as well was like a low ponytail. So I think with a low ponytail, uh, straightened as well, I think a low ponytail that's bushy, like if I put my hair right now into a ponytail, it would just look messy and not great. I think a straightened ponytail, worn low, is very conservative. And it's also something that we see, like if you, I feel like it's in that real old time where everyone used to sail on ships. You know, like the real important people, they'd have those big curly wigs, but with like a very straight conservative ponytail at the back, the men would. And I think obviously without the big curly bits at the top, I think using something like the conservative ponytail, just flowing down the back, it can look really nice, especially for a formal sort of event. Okay, so that's formal off the rank. Uh, now, next we've got semi-formal. So that's a step down from a actual formal event. So we talked about red carpets and 
you know, glitzy <laughs> events. I would classify semi-formal, maybe as like a birthday dinner where you're going to a nice restaurant or you're hanging out with your friends or you could be going to, you know, some kind of family gathering where you need to look presentable. So it's kind of like got that formality about it, but it's also about adding a little bit more of your personality because it's semi-formal, half formal if you like. So you can bring half formal and half yourself. That's how I look at it anyway. So hairstyles that I've got for that is like an asymmetrical curly hairstyle. I like wearing this after I've used something like the Monarch paste. I'll kind of just swoop all of this hair over to the side, have a little bit tucked behind here, have it all flowing down, put product in it so it looks tiny, but it's asymmetrical and I think that's a really groovy look. That's the personality part and I would probably wear, I don't know, maybe like a dress shirt or Something plain and conservative like this, like something black and tight, I think looks quite smart. I also think for semi-formal, any neat man bun variation can work here. The low neat man bun, the medium neat man bun, and also the high neat man bun in this one, because again, I said, you know, you, it's time to bring a bit of personality. So if the high man bun in a neat version is, you know, a bit more indicative of your personality, sure, go for it. You're at a dinner with your friends, you're most likely with people that you know, and they get who you are. It's like time to show a bit of like what you like to do, but keep it neat. Another honorable mention I think as well would be something like Rockstar Curls, you know, like the whole Harry Styles look. He's kind of got asymmetrical Rockstar Curls. I think that's quite cool. He somehow gets away with it on the red carpet, but I guess because he's that famous, like that's, everyone knows who he is. So that's, we're different here. Look, we're just normal. But yeah, to a semi-formal thing, even going to the movies, something like that, Rockstar Curls, asymmetry, I think that can work as well. I've also put in here like the side swoop with an undercut. Um, that's, you guys really liked that hairstyle on me when I had it and I would just like have my side shaven but then flop it all over to the side and have it dangling down here. It's quite, uh, I don't know, it's A, indicative of personality but also it can look quite slick especially if straightened and with the right products in it. Also, if you have an undercut, you could also try the man braid with um, the man bun and your undercut. I still think this looks very slick. It's one way that you can kind of get all of your hair in a controlled manner. You can show off a bit of that personality. You can show a bit of like difference and it still looks very like tidy and neat. And I think what contributes to that is the sides being shaven and having that clean cut. For me now, like if I were to wear all braids, I'd probably get flagged for cultural appropriation. I don't know, it's just a little bit more in your face. I would probably keep that more casual if you were gonna do all braids, but that's just my two cents on that. And the last one in the semi-formal area, I think something like the half up, half down man bun is really good, or like the Jon Snow highballer. Um, that's been one of my favorite hairstyles to wear lately for casual and semi-formal. It's again, another one of those hairstyles that's indicative of personality, but also it's just one of my favorite things that I've been wearing and I think it looks really good. Okie pokey, now moving on to category number three. So this is business. There's so little that you can do here. It's probably gonna be the easiest section because the corporate world, for some reason, they just wanna constrict everyone to being this one way wearing black and white and tidy hair. It's kind of like private schools. Like I just want to give them all the finger because it's just, it's so restricting. I'm lucky that I can, you know, work doing my YouTube stuff and I work, you know, online. I actually work from home. So I don't really have any restrictions in how I can look, but I still am in business and I can do that. So I've seen the other side of corporate and it doesn't have to be so restricted. However, our culture is built around a really restricted business setting. So you do have to have that clean haircut. You have to have like very primp and proper. You gotta wear like tuxedos or like dress, it's dressy, right? I cannot stress that enough. On top of that, like going for job interviews, knowing that the fact our culture's like that, you do want to go into a business like interview or a meeting or if you're getting hired for a job, you do wanna make sure you're following that corporate look because first impressions really count. And if you're going for a job that you really want, like, we mean business. So enough rambling on that, um, but let's get into the hairstyles. So with these, I've put a neat low man bun. So again, I would, if you had hair like me, I would straighten the F out of it and then make it look really slick and tuck it down below just so it's very conservative. Or I would, I don't know, I'd be reluctant to test the waters, but I still think it's possible to wear the mid man bun because if you look at it, they're not that much different like in the placing of them. So you could go with a neat or a middle man bun, but very neat and you could also, if you've got the undercut, again, the slick back could really work with that as well because your hair's all out of your face, it's slicked down, you look clean cut, and you can go from there. That's all I would say in business. Very restricted. And if you can, get a job on the internet. There's so many ways to make money these days. Like, 
Who needs corporate? <laughs> all right, and moving on to our last category, which is casual. Now, this all comes down to your friend network, how you feel about yourself inside, what you're doing with your look. It's pretty much free reign on anything you want. Messy, blah, 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 blah. You got it. The ones that I listed, like the ones that are my favorite, uh, out and crazy. So wearing all my hair out after I just add a little bit of product to it. Uh, I'm really, really loving that right now. Side swooping, so that again, like that can look really good messy as well. If you wanna be shining out your personality, doing a hairstyle like that is great. You can do it straight, wavy, curly, messy, really tight, whatever you want. I feel like a side swoop always looks good. Also messy waves, so again, very similar to the Johnny Depp style. I think this is perfect for casual as well if you can pull it off. Getting a keratin treatment has allowed me this this function of being able to wear messy sex hair. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. You could also try with different accessories like caps or hats. For me, wearing a hat like a fedora, I think that's totally fine for a casual setting, whether you're going on a picnic, going to the movies as well, hanging out at home, hanging out at a barbecue with your friends, like whatever, a hat, a cap, anything like that, accessory-wise, kind of suits the casual setting because really when you pull up to the casual setting, you're pulling up as you, like it's cash. I'd also recommend braids as well, depending on whether you have, you know, the undercut or not. Even hair like mine, I still catch myself wearing braids every now and again. I'll either do like two along here or I'll do three, so two along here and one along there, or I'll even do four. Whichever you're feeling, you can do that as well in a casual sense. And Lastly, I think just any type of man bun you want. So you could be like high messy, high low, neat low, neat messy, like every, <laughs> neat messy. But every variation I did in my 10 man bun hairstyles video, you could go with that with casual as well. I don't think anybody has the right to tell you what you can do with casual. It's up to you and how you really feel. That's essentially it. But they are my favorite things to do. And that brings us to the end of this video. So I hope you guys actually found that pretty informative. It is quite a confusing topic, like what's formal, what's semi-formal, what's business attire, what's this, blah, 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 blah. And knowing what hairstyles to wear, especially when you've got long hair, I do know that it can be quite tough. So I really hope I was able to bring you some value here today. If you have any questions, make sure you shoot me a comment in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. <laughs> because you know it helps me out, all right? Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you next week for another video, okay? See you later.